What's up guys, hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over some updates from my macro projections on Anchor and for VRA, but to go ahead and get it started here. First of all, we have the same macro fibra trace that I've been using from the most recent, previous all-time highs to the subsequent, not the subsequent, the prior bear market bottom. Here we can see we're also in this range right here from up to three to our current price. We are just on top of the 0.618 obviously been coming down and testing this golden pocket range like most of these coins have been doing as well as bitcoin more of the top dogs like ethereum and cardano as well you can see also we are coming down and we are meeting this ascending support that goes all the way back to january of 2020 so that is a approximately three year long support we hit it right here at the five pivot point we are now once more hitting it again um, likely to, in my personal opinion, probably bounce from here at the most likely scenario. The upwards right here, so this, uh, what would be a resistance to create this ascending channel that we would be in. These upward, these upper two dash trend lines are the exact same ones here for the resistance. I just cloned them and put them up here to match the, uh, so touching the candle close and then the wick high. And according to the projection, um, of this fractal pattern that I have on here once more I'm not saying it's going to play out exactly like this I'm just using this to paint a clear picture according to my face cycle theory for Bitcoin if you're not familiar with that already I'll have it first two cards linked to the beginning of this video I'll have me more in depth going over that and uh, providing a more general broad understanding of why I have this specific projection going back to March to the top we set from around May 2021 towards the end of that year is likely I believe we'll see uh, the entire crypto market move very very similar to how it moved from that march 2020 to about may of 2021 towards around november of 2021 outside of that you can see we have been in a macro downtrend from november of 2021 to around january of this year when we just recently broke out of it we saw this five wave move towards the downside in order to just kind of act as a completion of a bear market typically we'll see that on bitcoin and plenty of other just about every single cryptocurrency um, going back many years, especially obviously with the emphasis being on Bitcoin, you'll see that kind of just continually repeated throughout its cycles and its phases. Um, outside of that, the price target specifically is around five and a half. We'll just say about five dollars thirty cents to five dollars fifty cents. The golden pocket range towards the upside lies from three dollars fourteen fifteen cents all the way up to at highest eight dollars. Uh, also eight dollars fourteen fifteen cents, so about a five dollar range there from three dollars fourteen to to eight dollars fourteen cents. That's just a potential more of a broad range to look out for with this price I have up here noted um, more specifically. Uh, let's say we do go to the downside. Let's say the bear market's not over for whatever reason. Bitcoin goes down some more. At least all coins do. The next area I would possibly see would be around down to point zero zero six to basically a penny. If lower than that, then point zero zero one to point zero zero three. Although I don't personally see it going down to this red range, nor really the purple range, but nonetheless, those are some downside price targets. According to the retracement towards the bottom of the golden pocket up here, and then also previous consolidative points in the price to likely find some sort of support on. Each of these pink dots on the price, as I've been saying recently, and I'll see on the RSI just line up with the printing of the pink vector candles, the most oversold in the price, or not in the promo, well, of the RSI, lining up with the uh, likely bottoms overall the macro bottoms for the price this is the weekly chart so i haven't mentioned that yet but we are sitting basically within the neutral zone towards the lower half of the neutral zone but nonetheless pretty much the neutral zone um the fact that we are basically just right above the most oversold territory we can see the price retesting this macro support good evidence to me personally also for the fact that we can see these moving averages right here converging as well to see some sort of drastic move here again whether it's towards the upside or the downside obviously my bias in this video is towards the upside 
If we look here at the MACD, we can see we got a crossover January of this year, which lined up right with the breaking of this macro resistance. See, we are coming down. I don't think we will get another cross back below. If we do, then it would be something kind of very short lived and then it would eventually go back up overall. I don't think it would be something too monumental if it does cross over for a short period of time. But really mainly what to look out for is seeing the really both of them have a massive momentous move towards the upside breaking this zero point. So that convergence, that uh, yellow dashed line, we can see here the volume indicator. We've been getting basically bullish divergence right here going all the way back to June 2021. You can see price negative support over that entire period of time. Positive for the volume indicator again just to draw basically what the idea here is for this. We can see basically we're kind of bottlenecking. We're funneling the volume. Think about that MACD momentum uh, flip recently. Eventually it's going to release this pressure likely towards the upside factoring the way bitcoin looks ethereum cardano just in general obviously mainly with the emphasis on bitcoin um, and this also kind of just being a viable project in terms of its utilization case um, outside of that here for vra veracity i believe that's actually what it is um but anyway essentially the same idea here we have a similar channel here these um uh, support down at the bottom going all the way back to march of 2020 is I just copied that and put it up here to the top and it actually lined up perfectly with our double top forming a very nice ascending channel towards the high range um, according to the way it behaved from March to this double top that I mentioned again with that pay cycle theory etc um, this specific range is around 50 cents to 80 cents what is more rather say 50 cents to a dollar doesn't reach according to this does not reach the 1.457 and 1.618 the next iteration up of the golden pocket um, which just to point that out, just in case it, for whatever reason does go up to there, it lies at $1.31 all the way up to $3.39, $3.40 overall. I'll go back to uh, Anchor here in just a second and show this. But towards around $0.50 cents is around a 24,000% move. Towards around $0.85, $0.87 cents is a 40,000% move. If it goes around $1.30, at 62,000%. If it goes around $3.5, it's around 161 thousand percent so all of those moves are really good moves towards the higher end of things for the most part even if it goes just to the lower price target from top to bottom for anchor what i had specifically projected is 36,000. if it goes to 1.618 it would be 55,000. so also talking about 300x around 500x and then this one again at lowest would be around a 250x at the highest would be around a 1600 1700x so those are um very good moves um, at the end of the day also have the same exact five wave move towards the bottom here again most like everything i'm sure most of you are already aware altcoins look nearly identical to the way bitcoin moves you go to bitcoin show this exact same price pattern as you have our double top right here we had it in march april 2021 had the second top in november december with bitcoin we came down we made this lightning bolt one two to three then we had this right here it would more specifically be an m pattern as i just drew the black line but to make things a little bit more simpler, I obviously just have it from going straight from the four to the five. But that same exact price harmonic is also on Bitcoin's most recent um, uh, period of its most recent bull market as well. Getting the breakout above that as well, you can see we went below the golden pocket range. Right now we have gotten this breakout towards we got rejected on the six and eight. Now we're basically in the middle of it. If we take a look here at the RSI as well, which I don't have it drawn in here, but we see our oversold territory right there, lining up with the oversold down here on the RSI, where again, we're in the neutral zone, very similar to the way Anchor actually looked. If you take a look at it, it went up to the neutral zone, just been going down diagonally, similar thing here. Also coming down and retesting this macro support in this channel as well. Likely to get a bounce here, especially if Bitcoin does get a bounce, which Bitcoin does also look pretty promising right now as well. Um, overall, which what I'm going to show also just applies for Anchor. We just want to see it kind of break more towards this upper range and then stay up here throughout the bull market to kind of continue a positive velocity towards the upside overall. Same thing goes here for the MACD. See the cross when we got the um, final. So we got a bullish deviation right here. Once we got this cross, it was trending upwards, but the price is trending downwards, and eventually we got that nice relief towards the upside which percentage wise was from the bottom to that was the 437 percent move which is a great move to have caught if you 
did catch that. Um, like I said, we got rejected off the 0.618. We also got rejected off this uh, uh, 50 EMA of this estimated moving average band as well. You can see how we did come across the zero point for a little bit. Now we're dipping back below. Really the same thing applies here as I went over for anchor. We just want to see this generally just have a nice move, obviously, as the momentum indicator is supposed to do towards the upside. And again, we may see a brief cross back below and then come back up as well. If we do see something like that, again, I don't think it's personally something a massive to worry about. I don't, there's not enough data for that one. But some coins actually in the previous bull market from March of 2022, May, March of 2021, towards that November, December of 2021 high, we saw that actually happen. Um, just to kind of paint it out here, we saw, let's say if I continue this pink one out right here, we would see something like this. And basically we would see kind of two entangled points right here. We see the cross above for the blue, then the pink kind of gained upper hand here. Change the color so it looks easier. We saw something a lot like this basically, as I've drawn out two crossovers right before the bull market began, instead of just basically seeing this one that we have right here. Um, so if we do see a second one, like I said, I don't really think it's personally too much to worry about. Same thing goes here. For the volume indicator, you can see price was going down the entire time. is going back to January of, this, or of last year, 2022. Volume indicator was converging towards zero. Now we're tangling around it, building up that kind of, you know, that volume-based pressure. You can see how we're moving up here. Kind of just, again, it's just like a funneling, a bottleneck. So we finally release the volume-based pressure this is building up. Again, factoring into the momentum indicator. And then also the RSI is a velocity-based relative strength index of uh, the velocity of the price being in this neutral zone, this buildup period before the bull run begins until, like I said, we do see that kind of momentum switch and the velocity starts to hang in this upper zone rather than the lower zone. Um, if for the downside targets here again for VRA, um, just broadly from 0 0.015 all the way down to 0 0.0003, um, let's say we do go down to the lowest and basically reach out to the absolute lows, at least for this price. That's a 93% more drop. If we reach the highest of that range, it's 70%. I don't personally believe that will be happening. Like I said, same thing for Anchor. If we could drop all the way down to the lowest. That's a 95%. Towards the highest, it's also basically 60 to 70% as well. Um, another thing I did want to point out here for VR is you can see this macro falling triangle this falling wedge this bullish pattern we've been you can see how we find this confluence or these two lines so the support and the resistance line intersect right here at june which is what we're heading up to and according to what i have painted on here would line up basically with the final local local final uh, relative bottom before we begin this bull run towards the upside overall for the high ranges i'm expecting the market to top out just broadly um, basically the first half of next year, perhaps bleeding in like the first month or two of the second half of next year being 2024. Um, although outside of that, that's essentially everything I wanted to go over in this video for the updates. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, again, this is not financial advice. Do your own research, make your own decisions based upon your research and not just what I've said in this video. Um, but outside of that, once more, hopefully you enjoyed the content. Hopefully you're able to take something away from this in an educational stents um everything being said i hope you all have a blessed day ooh, I, ooh, I